Hello and welcome to part 25 of my Let's Play of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. As I pet my Eevee, let's have a team wreck up. It's in party. I'm starting off with Clifford the Big Red Dog, who is oop, an RK9 and has bite. I don't know. I think I was going to say bark then because I'm tired. Bite, dig, ember, and leer. Next, we've got Luke the Oh, and Cliff is level 28. Luke is a level 30 Mew, named after Game Boy Luke, with Pound, Swift, Brick Break, and Amnesia. Next, we have Jorex, level 31 War Turtle, with Bubble Beam, Tail Whip, Scald, and Bite. Homer, the level 33 Butterfree, hashtag bars, with Bug Buzz, Air Slash, Quiver Dance, and Psybeam. ADHD, our starter Eevee, he's level 34 now, with Double Kick, Buzzy Buzz, Baddy Bad, and Quick Attack. Yep, they're real move names in this game. Hashtag bars again! And last but not least, we have a level 34 Weeping Bell card, Sprout, who has Razor Leaf, Sleep Powder, Headbutt, and Acid. Let's go. Let's go outside. I don't remember where I'm up to. Oh, Celadon, apparently. Okay, so... Try and work this out. We've got the self scope. So maybe we were heading back to Lavender Town? Maybe that's a thing that was happening? Let's find out, shall we? Let's find out. Yeah, when I'm saying I'm tired, I know I've spoken about this in today's Yellow Nuzlocke episode, but there's a chance you watch this series and aren't interested in the Yellow Nuzlocke for whatever reason. But, uh, yeah, I'm like 54 hours deep now, and I've had one hour sleeping all that time. I'm not even kidding. So, hoping to get this over with fairly soon. I mean, not get it over with, obviously the episode is going to be half an hour, but what I mean is hope this goes smoothly, I don't have to re-record anything, or editing doesn't turn out to be a pain, or any of that usual shenanigan shenaniganery. Oh, okay, we are going the right way. Shenanigans, but call it shenaniganery, because that's a great word that I just made up. Um, and then I can get some sleep before work tonight. Well, so, that's Cubone's mom? That's right! Team Rocky keeps, go keeps on going after Marowak, so he can sell those schools they were for profit. I think Cubone is still looking for his mother, even though she's gone. I just can't forgive that Team Rocket. Me neither. I saw Cubone heading into the tower a little while ago, too. I'll go look for it, and I'll keep my eye out for that Mr. Fuji, too. The one who's been missing. Thank you, and be careful! I ain't helping, though, she says. She's like, I'm out of here! I really don't like ghosts, but I gotta do this. Yo! Let me go in. Ah, hey, Beza. Nice timing. You caught most of that, right? What'd you say? You wanna come with me? Uh, not really, but go on, then. T -t Thanks, pal. It'll be a big relief to have you. I'll just let you lead the way, okay? Oh, we actually traveling together? Cool in the gang. Let's go. Not following very well, Etch. Come on, chop chop. So, not traveling together then. <laughs> I thought we were genuinely going to both be traveling together, but apparently not. So, now we've got the soul scope. Will the ghosts just be ghosts? Or oh. Yeah. Do, do you think there are really ghosts in here? Huh, Ibeza, what's that? <laughs> These are my peeping goggles. I used them to look through my neighbor's windows. The silver scope revealed the ghost's true farm. Yeah, they did. Oh, there's a han 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 han. Whoa, that's crazy. So the ghosts are actually Pokemon? Yep. No, where have they gone? Oh, let's catch them. This floor looks like... Yes. Yeah, oh, there's stuff just floating around. Okay, I was going to say... It's, oh, hello. Come here, you. Catch me a ghastly. Oh, where... What? Way, wa woo, wa. Okay. That's it. What? Why is it firing over there? I don't... Je ne comprends pas. Yeah, I thought I was throwing them kind of straight, but apparently not. No. I was going to say, that was a rubbish throw. 
great throw. There we go. Now you can stay in the ball, Ghastly. Now you have my permission. Oh, well, that's rude. Why? Why? I didn't throw that any differently. Ooh, nearly got an excellent throw. Just missed it. Yeah, didn't deserve that catch. It's okay. Oh, you scumbag. I want to go. Oh, what? What? I don't know what I'm doing different when it flies off over there. But like, genuinely, don't. Not doing anything differently. Ray! Got it. That decoy throw distracted it and then it stayed in the ball. Ooh, ADHD in the leveling up. Let's get that Pokedex data, darling. Said to appear in decrepit, deserted buildings. It has no real shape as it appears to be made of gas. Except they all look exactly the same shape, so they do obviously have a shape. Dope. So we've already cleared this out once, so we just have to run back up. Oh, I didn't need to go in that. I can just go around this way. Never mind. She blocks you in Gen 1, so force a habit that. Zubat? No, I reckon we've already got Zubat. It's hoping for a wild horn, horn, horn. To be gone. Be gone! That's more befitting. Be gone, intruders! Hello there. Gursty. Ah, this one's even bigger than the last one. Tightly your sex tape. Hey, Beza, use the thing. Tightly your sex tape. The thing you used last time. Title. Okay, we get it. We get it, guys. In your window. Use your binoculars. Hello. Ah, ah. Ah, no. Poor Q Bone. Genuinely upset. <laughs> the true form of the ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother's spirit was calm, returning to its kind and gentle nature. What, was that supposed to be a positive experience? The Cubone just watching his mother disintegrate in front of it? It departed to the afterlife and disappeared. Cubone, you. You just came here because you wanted to see your mum again, huh? Ah. Oh. Sorry for thinking your mum was scary, Cubone. <laughs> <laughs> was also insensitive of your mum joke at that moment. It pays that I, I don't want to leave Cubone alone like this. I'm gonna go take it home. Oh, if there's someone named Fuji upstairs, do you think you could see him home too? Uh, yeah, I got this. Are you not, are you not scared at all, Ibiza? Uh, no. Man, you're full of confidence, pal. You definitely seem dependable. What? You rescued Cubone from Team Rocket? When did you go and get that strong? Right, well then. Guess I'll leave this up to you, Ibiza. Come on, Cubone. I kind of like that he keeps the Cubone. They don't sort of force it on you. <gasps> Cubone, bone, bone. I don't think we have a Cubone yet. Or well, maybe we do. It actually can... I think that Pokeball symbol means we do. Maybe you can catch it somewhere else. What a shame. Don't be sarcastic with me, game. What? How was that not... Oh. I... Whee! Excellent throw. I don't know what's happened to my throwing game. I'm just out of practice, I guess. Got it! Deserved it for that excellent throw, after it moved and everything. B-E-A-utiful. 
Level up for ADHD. Clifford's nearly there next. And Jorvex not, eh, not Jorvex, Sprout not far behind. Yeah, we've got two, okay. Never mind. Better to have two than none. The candy. Whoa! Apparently we're catching a haunter, guys. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to switch tact here. Oh, you scumbag. Well, it's just a bad throw. Oh, come on. Right, 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 right. You need to calm down, sir. Was that only nice? I thought that was going to be great. I thought I waited long enough, but apparently not. Yeah, not good enough. Oh, excellent throw. So we caught our Cubone. Can we catch Haunter like that? Can we? Yeah! All right. You caught a haunter. Yeah, did. Yeah, did. Sprout. It's a data, darling. By licking, it saps the victim's life. It causes shaking that won't stop until the victim's demise. That's pretty sinister. <laughs> For just like a ten-year-old to have control of. Hey, Mr. Fuji! Uh-oh. Stop right there. We'll be going first. With that spectre out of the way, we can finally get to the top. You're the old geezer they call Mr. Fuji, right? You're going to be repeating your Pokemon research for the glory of Team Rocket. Mr. Fuji. da 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 Ignore us all you like. We're used to it. <laughs> we won't take no for an answer. We'll help the boss whether you want to or not. Come at me, bros. Gramps here thinks he can resist, so we're setting him straight. You better disappear, Twerp. I'll be prepared to fight. Meowth, that's right. Why don't we get a Meowth, that's right line? I really should. I mean, the games can Meowth not talk. Reason! Dig at the freezing, I guess. And Luke, you can. Uh, Swift. Them both, apparently. Okay. Bit of damage. Goodbye. Whee! Whee! They both double down on targeting. Oh, okay. Mush off the screen. And targeting Clifford, and that was a mistake, ladies and gentlemen. There's no levitate in this game. Wow! That's a tough cookie. Damn it! Uh oh. That's going on to you, surely, yeah. Ooh, wee! That was a crit, okay. That's not actually that bad considering that was a crit. I'm gonna, uh. Yep. I don't think it's, like, hyper potion worthy. I might even just let you go down here. Yeah. One more swift if we can even get it in before they uh, take me out, because I'm now slower. Uno mas. Oh, nice. Okay, that was a crit before, so I might live this. Yep, just about. Oh, come on. Can we take out the wheezing? 
No. Crunch. That was a bit excessive to do two damage. Little bit excessive, that. Mitt. Uh, okay, who's gonna deal with them well? Homer. Homer, where is side beam? You're gonna get really wrecked. <laughs> Going after the Arbok now. Because this Ivy might kill it. I don't think it will, but if it does, then I'll just redirect onto the thing anyway, so it won't matter. Now we're good. Okay. Yes! 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 Okay. Um, I, I think the Dig will kill Arbok, so I'm gonna go for the Weezing here with Butterfree. Nice! And we only lost, you know, the rarest Pokemon in the game. <laughs> but it's not a Nuzlocke, so we haven't lost it. If you like Nuzlocke, Pokemon Yellow is your game. Yeah, it was, that was released earlier. Earlier today. What do you want? I mean, you're the one who came up to me. You'll regret this. You'll regret that. <laughs> Oh, seriously? Again? I don't bother doing a different voice for the two of them. I just stick with my goofy, garpy, incompetent voice. Looks like Operation Stealthily Kidnapped Fuji is a bust. What a great name. Then, don't you think I know that? We'll be fine. We just have to help out with the takeover of Silphcom in Saffron City. Hint, hint. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Sorry if that was a bit quiet, by the way. I don't know, I was kind of putting on the voice and then realised I wasn't picking up that loud on my, uh, microphone. My microphone! Oh, and who might you be? You came to save me from Team Rocket? Thanks, but I didn't even notice they were here. <laughs> I was too busy trying to calm the spirit of Marowak. Done it, mate. Completed it, mate. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home. I'm okay, thanks, mate. Not gonna lie. That's not the sort of thing a man of your age should be saying to a boy of my age. It's the Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. Okay, I was gonna say, imagine if it now makes you go down when it never used to. So, Hibaza, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, it will be hard to complete such a task. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. Yeah, that's gonna help me. Upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it if you ever find a sleeping Pokemon. Hint, hint, hint to the hint, 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 hint to the hint, hint. I think I've already spoken to people in here before Fuji came back. Although they might say something different. Nah, it's probably not that interesting, is it? Probably not all that interesting. All that and a bag of chips. Okay, I'm pretty tired today, guys, so I'm going to leave it here. But the next episode, hopefully, will be in four days. That's what I'm aiming for, is to rotate these four games. Uh, Let's Go Eevee, Shield, Hitman 2, and WWE 2K20. Every four days, unless... What? Oh, I was... I was... I talk with my hands, and I've accidentally triggered this, uh... Triggered this Pokemon Yellow Pokemon Play thing. So we'll give Eevee a little head rub. There we go. Yeah, happy days. Right, out we go. Um... Yeah, what I was going to say, yeah, so they should be every four days unless some special one-off gets in the way because there's quite a few of those in September. Like there was, um, when did they go up? Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday there was uh, Disney Racing, Walt Disney Racing Tour, whatever it's called, Spider-Man, Rayman. So, yeah, some, what, what, what have I called it? Fun little one-offs or something? I can't remember what the series is called, but yeah, where I just play a game on its like, anniversary of its release or something like that, just as a one-off. Pretty good fun. Go check them out. Anyway, ramble, ramble. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. Let me know in the comments, by the way, what's been your favourite difference between 
this game and like Pokemon Red and Blue or Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Like what's been, because they've made like tweaks to the story. So let me know what's been your favourite tweak because the whole Lavender Tower thing was quite different. Without having to go up, then go to Team Rocket, then go back up. It was quite different. Um, and that scene with the Cubone and Malak was quite touching, so... Yeah, anyway, yeah, so let me know in the comments. Don't forget to check out the description as well for my other channels, uh, which include Pokebazer. If you like my Pokemon content and you just can't get enough, then there's more over on Pokebazer. Check it out in the description. Also, you'll find my social media and my Patreon, where you can support me for just one US dollar per calendar month, and it'd be greatly appreciated. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibazer, you've been amazing, and I will see you next time.